Hey Aries, how are you guys doing? Welcome to Karma Light Readings. I'm Alexandra. This is going to be for Aries Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you're new here, welcome. Please make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. And if you're returning, thank you so much for your continued support. I appreciate it. Um, if at any time this reading resonates with you, and you would like a personal reading, that information is in the description box below. Please keep in mind this is a very large collective, so it's normal and natural for some or none of this reading to resonate with you. Also, I do weekly live readings on my Instagram. Right now, um, I'm doing the collective readings weekly as well as a shadow work guide, and I'm giving you guys prompts every week, one time a week. Um, if that's something you're interested in, go to my Instagram page and follow. I did post the last um, live that I did on Instagram. I posted it on this YouTube channel, so you can check that out because Mercury retrograde, it wouldn't let me save it and post it to IG. So if you're interested in shadow work and healing your uh, inner wounds and connecting with yourself on a deeper level, go ahead and check me out on Instagram. With that being said, Aries, let's get started. Mother, Father, God, Divine, Holy Spirit of the Most High, thank you for allowing me to be a clear channel of receiving messages for Aries in regards to their current life situation, life journey, and soul purpose. I ask that these messages provide clarity, guidance, healing, and understanding, as well as a higher knowledge and perception on what soul lessons and soul cycles they may currently be going through, about to go through, need to become aware of, learn from, heal from, and release. Lord, in all that you are and all that you do, in all that I am and all that I do, I live by your word and your word only. In Yeshua's name I pray, amen. Okay, Aries, <clears throat> let's see. What messages Spirit has for you? Holy Spirit, spiritual messages of guidance, please, for Aries, October 2021. He, well, my favorite, Hebrews 619. We have this hope as an anchor for the soul, firm and secure. On the back, God will not permit any troubles to come upon us unless he has a specific plan by which great blessing can come out of the difficulty. You also have Exodus 15, 2, the Lord is my strength and my defense. He has become my salvation. On the back, God is our God forever and ever. He will be our guide even to the end. And that's Psalms 48, 14. I feel that you've been very tested recently, Aries, and that's going to follow through a little bit into October. This is a test of your commitment and your faith to God and your belief in him and his miracles and what he can do for your life. Because for so long, Aries, you've been trying to get somewhere. You have like an, a specific goal or something that you've really wanted, okay? And... <clears throat> forgive me. I feel that you've paddled and paddled and you're like right there. You're almost ready to get out of this boat, but nothing is happening. And so there are moments, Aries, where you're doubting if anything has been moving, if your prayers have been heard, if he's been hearing you. And he has. God has a higher purpose. There's something else within you real quick that you're going to need to grasp onto and pull out. He wants you to anchor to him. I know it's coming for me. I know it's for me because I asked him for it and it's for me. If you need help in a situation where you feel as though you're too exhausted or you're losing your strength, he's there for you. Ask him for the answers, even if it's regarding yourself. Right? Not just a situation or another person, place or thing, but yourself. He will give you the answers. <clears throat> you are worthy, Aries. Clarity, guidance, healing, and understanding. Holy Spirit, please, for Aries, October 2021. The sun. 
Beautiful. Number 19 may be important to you because you have that here. Or the date, 619. Well, that is Juneteenth. Pretty significant. Seven of Cups. Temperance. King of, or I'm sorry, Knight of Cups. Ten of Cups. Two of Wands. Interesting. <clears throat> Overall energy on the bottom of the deck, you have the world. You also have Scorpio energy here with the Death card. Okay, so you are stepping into a new portal. Like I said, you've rode and rode and rode and you're at the edge. You're about to walk through the doorway to your new life. I see that with the sun. The sun here is your current energy. This is the best card out of the entire deck. I mean, it is God, right? So <clears throat> let's get the clarifiers out and let's start seeing what messages we have here. Four of Cups, <laughs> Six of Cups, The Wheel, Nine of Cups, The Moon, Whew. The Chariot. Bottom of the deck, you have the Nine of Wands and the Lovers. Wow. So you have soulmate energy coming in here. And here's Temperance again. So big shifting and healing. Um, taking place what was here two of swords okay interesting all right my loves so overall energy there was an ending there was a pause on a connection here a love connection and you had to go through some difficult times that I feel are the reason why you have this fence up and why you're you're doubting that your prayers have been heard or that they're going to be answered You want something. You have a lot of passion for something, Aries, and you want it, but yet you're still hesitant about it because you're exhausted, right? Remember when I said when you're tired or something um, to call on him? You're exhausted because I feel a lot of this was all in your head, not saying you imagined it. The stress of this situation was like literal arguing with yourself, constant battle, like not knowing where to go. It's very hard for you to transition into peace for quite some time because something ended and I don't really think you wanted it to end. Yeah, but it caused you and this other person to have some sort of awakening. Could be dealing with a Scorpio, Leo, uh, Gemini, Pisces, Cancer, Sagittarius does not have to be okay does not have to be you have a lot of repetitive cards here so current energy you have the sun and the four of cups you like i said you're ready to walk through this portal but you're stuck and what's keeping you stuck is you're still lingering on the past a little bit and here's this new opportunity right here i don't think you see the new opportunity <clears throat> Aries, you, it's not going to come knocking on your door and say, I want to be with you. It's not going to come knocking on your door and say new opportunity. You, you know what I'm saying? I mean, for some of you, it may be that clear, but what I'm seeing here is you're struggling with moving forward with letting go and being free because there's still a few things from the past that you can't, that you're struggling with letting go of. You're, 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 having a hard time because you want answers and spirits trying to hand you this rainbow this golden opportunity do you see the hand down here so for some of you i hope that that's good enough that you can see it um for some of you it will physically come to your house it will be from a physical person or to you not to your house i don't want to say that and somebody messaged me some of you guys take it to heart but um it will be a physical message. For others of you, that new opportunity is out here waiting. You just need to let go. Not right now, Emmy. <clears throat> you have seven of cups and the six of cups as your current energy towards the situation. It's exactly like I said. It's just like this right here. <laughs> Shoulda, woulda, couldas. What if you really love someone? A lot of water energy, Aries, so you could be dealing with the water sign. You do have, well, you have all of them here. P 
Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. So you could really be dealing with the water sign. Um, this is something that meant a lot to you. This is something that you really wanted. You feel a deep connection to this person, but I also feel like there's a lot of new opportunities and new things going on in your life that you want to experience, that you want to <clears throat> do. And maybe this connection would deter you from being able to have those experiences or maybe there's so many different opportunities and ways that this connection could go. I do feel like maybe you're not communicating with someone right now for some of you or there's a distance between you and this person, okay? Uh, the other person's energy towards you or the outside energy towards you and this connection is temperance in the wheel. There were lessons that needed to be learned. And there were cycles here. This person feels as though if they don't get their act together or heal something or shift something, right, that this is going to pass them by. There were phases in this connection. And this person is starting to understand the phases. And they're starting to rise, right? They're starting to ascend and become aware and awaken to maybe what they need to shift their perception on or what they need to change about how they were dealing with you in this connection because they're recognizing that they were coming at it wrong. They were coming at it wrong. You have the Knight of Cups and the Nine of Cups is a challenge. <sighs> For some of you, this person, because I feel like down here, this is what was happening within, right? This was more on the outside. You knew and you had this explosion of emotions for each other, both of you. But for some reason, it was very hard to get someone to open up their heart chakra, to open up their cup of love and to make things move forward. I think that you guys got so far into the connection, far enough into the connection for you to recognize there's something here, right? There's something in this connection that is different than others. And someone, either you or the other person may have gotten stuck, may have gotten scared because of that and closed off. <clears throat> this person's next steps of action towards you is the 10 of cups in the moon. Um, you're about to get an explosive amount of communication about the depths of their love for you. This person is drowning in the amount of love that they have for you. This person is drowning in the way they feel. They're becoming aware. I mean, this person went deep because they wanted to figure it out. And this person realized Aries makes me sing. Aries brings me fulfillment, okay? I also feel like them coming in with this message is going to cause you to take a deep plunge and feel like you're drowning. I think that this is because you have the two of wands in the chariot. So I see you maybe feeling rushed to make a decision, but I do see you making the proper decision for yourself. Some of you have plans that are taking you in a different direction and... Now, this is going to be very specific, but what Spirit is showing me is, I don't know if some of you were planning to move or your career was moving in a new direction that required travel, but it's like you have to make this move for yourself and your life, but you don't want to leave this behind. Some of you are going to find a way to balance that. Like, hey, I have to do this. Let's try the relationship this way or let's try whatever it is. Let's try the friendship this way. Um, but you do look out to the future and you make a proper decision that is beneficial for yourself, that is for the higher good of yourself. So know that. But you do have a message coming in of deep emotions. This person uh, feels a very spiritual connection with you and I think that you do as well. They're recognizing um, the mirroring that you two do, the yin and yang effect of this connection. They're also recognizing psychic abilities or gifts are coming online when they're around you or when they think of you. You make this person happy. Somebody discovered love because of this connection. Okay, Aries? So um, they're coming forward. You have a decision to make. I also feel strongly with this Scorpio card and the lovers that this is a transition. 
so for some of you, something had to end and you're getting a new partner that is, is your match, is your soulmate based on the work you've done. For others of you, this connection ended and it's about to rebirth into something more than you could have imagined. All right, Aries, I am sending you guys so much love and I look forward to hearing from you guys and seeing you soon. Bye.